Parkinson's disease originally was, I mean, for 200 years, we have, we have thought that the disease is a brain disease. And then in the 20th century, it was discovered that it had something to do with dopamine cells in the brain. Um, and basically throughout the, the entire 20th century, that's, that's how we have approached the disease, developing treatments for the dopamine system uh, to uh, improve the motor symptoms that, that the patients have. But during the last 20 to 30 years, we have realized that, that Parkinson's disease is much more than that. It is not only the dopamine system, many other neurotransmitter systems in the brain are affected. And in addition to that, also the peripheral autonomic nervous system. So that means the nerves going from the central nervous system into your gut, into your heart, and so on. It's how the, the brain controls these organs. So brain first and body first, uh, the brain first and body first model uh, relates to the fact that it seems like Parkinson's disease can be divided into two types. One of them, body first, probably starts in the gut, perhaps induced by something you eat or toxins. The pathology then starts in the nervous system of your gut and then it kind of invades the brain through the, those nerves that connect the brain and the gut. As soon as the pathology has entered the brain, it starts spreading inside the brain. So these body first patients, they start with, by having bodily symptoms many years before diagnosis, such as constipation, problems with their blood pressure, and so on. And these symptoms um, reveal that there's something wrong with those nerves going to the gut and your vessels, your heart, uh, many years before the brain is actually uh, damaged. So that's body first. Uh, brain first is the other overarching type. We believe that in many cases this disease actually starts in your nose, in the epithelium that you use that's in your nose to, uh, it, which is used for, for your olfactory function, so that's your smelling uh, function. So the pathology enters the, the olfactory nerve, that's just uh, uh, above your nose, and then from there it spreads inside your brain. And by that route, it actually reaches the dopamine system pretty fast. And then these patients, th they develop Parkinsonism fairly quickly, but in, 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 but in those patients, they haven't developed uh, like constipation, problems with the blood pressure and so on at the time when they are diagnosed, because the pathology comes from upstairs, if you will. However, as the disease advances, the pathology then spreads downstairs. It will eventually reach the gut, the heart, and so on. So these brain-first patients, they will end up having all of the same symptoms like constipation, problems with the blood pressure, with the urinary tract, and so on. But in these patients, it comes after diagnosis because the spreading route is kind of the opposite of that seen in, in body-first disease. So how, why is this important? Uh, for the patients and for scientists, well, it's since it seems like there are these two overarching types, we need to understand uh, what are the trigger mechanisms that start them. Are there different genetic factors and so on that predispose a patient to one of these diseases rather than the other? Because if we start to understand these things, we would be one step closer to, to being able to, to apply personalized medicine to, to uh, one subtype or the other and thereby hopefully uh, someday uh, being able to, to stop this disease uh, in its tracks.